You may remember in a previous video that I asked you to enable workspaces and I'd like to go over what workspaces are in Ubuntu now. You should have workspaces visible over here on your launcher. This is the workspace switcher. If you don't see the workspace switcher, go ahead and click on the gear with the wrench, that's your system settings, then navigate to appearance, behavior, and make sure that the box next to enable workspaces is checked. Workspaces essentially act as multiple desktops, so we can have different programs and different windows open on different workspaces. If you click on the workspace switcher, you'll see your screen divided into four desktops. These are our workspaces. The highlighted workspaces, of course, are current active workspace. Let's go ahead and click back on our active workspace and open up Mozilla Firefox. Say that we want to keep Firefox open on one screen, but have other windows open in another workspace. We go back to the workspace switcher, select another desktop, and we're greeted with a blank desktop. You don't see Mozilla Firefox here, although you do see that Mozilla Firefox is still open, signified by this arrow and the fact that it's highlighted on our launcher. It is open, just not on this workspace. Here on this workspace, we can open up something else, like the file manager, Nautilus. Moving back once again to our workspace switcher and clicking on it, you can now see that we have two different programs open in two different workspaces. Navigating to the third workspace, you can open up something else. And in a similar fashion, we can move down to the workspace switcher, and move to our fourth workspace, click on it, and of course, open up something else. This is a convenient way to organize what you're doing in Ubuntu desktop. You can just think of these workspaces as multiple desktops. And of course, you can see by clicking on the workspace switcher exactly what you have open in each one of your workspaces at any given time.